Hi guys, so today I'm reviewing some products from the face shop and these are products that I purchased while I was in Dallas and if you guys want to see the haul video, I'll link it down below but let's go ahead and get started. So these are the products that I purchased that are makeup related and then these, well this, <laughs> is the only skincare related product that I purchased. I'm going to review the BB cream first. So this is what the product looks like. The product itself um, I actually really like. Um, something about the packaging that I really, really like, other than that it's in a tube, is that they took some consideration into the cap. So, this is what it looks like. As you can see, the cap has a stopper, which um, joins in with the little end of the BB cream, which is really, really nice. I mean, it's a really small feature, but you notice that there's like not a gunk of BB cream stuck in here. So I'm glad they put packaging into consideration for this product. The product itself, it was $10. You can get it for less on eBay and it only comes in one shade. The shade is very light. I would say for those with very fair skin. I have natural beige colored skin so this one does not match me at all. It blends in really really well. Um, you don't even feel it after you blend it out into your skin. The coverage is very light to medium. I didn't build it up. I just know that when I applied this BB cream, it gave me like, it got rid of like the dullness on my complexion, but it didn't get rid of like my dark circles and things like that. Um, I can also see like little freckles on my face as well. Staying power is surprisingly pretty decent um, and it stayed matte all day. And I don't have extremely oily skin, I have normal combination. So with this being matte all day, it really surprises me. Overall, the BB cream, I really, really like. Um, even though I wish it came in like another shade, um, if you have relatively close skin tone um, matched to this BB cream, I think you'll be fine if you use a darker powder just to set it, and it should be great. So next is the powder, and this is the Lovely Me EX Angel Skin Powder Packed, and this is what it looks like on the front. And here's the back. And if you lift up this tab, it will show you all the ingredients and etc. in English because it's in Korean. Um, the packaging itself is really, really simple and very, very cute. It has like an opal kind of um, finish on the top. The powder itself looks like this. And I'm in the color NB35, which is more, I think it's like their second to the darkest shade that they have. Um, because I don't have very pale skin. I have very natural beige skin year-round, so I never reach the level of paleness that I think most Asian girls do. Um, I guess in Korea, since in Korea or in Asia in general, like light skin is super popular. I'm just not one of those girls. <laughs> the amount of product you get in this is not a lot compared to my Lancome powder, which I really, really like. Um, this one comes with 10 grams, 0.35 ounces. And this costs $12 compared to Lancome. This costs, I think, $35. And I'm in the color Matte Crew number two. And this one comes with 19 grams and 0.67 ounces. So, what I like about this powder this powder makes the BB cream last all day. It makes my face really matte. And it also makes the BB cream, um, the shade, match my face. Because without this, I would look like a ghost. The texture of this BB cream is super, super soft. Like right when I touch it, um, you will see the powder right away. It stays matte and it stays almost creamy. It doesn't look cakey or chalky on my face at all. Any pros and cons? Um, I don't have a con for it really. I actually really like the powder. It's hard to explain why I like powders. <laughs> um, I always tell like my friends like I like the finish or I like like the lasting ability of it. Um, this one I like both. This one actually lasts just as long and it keeps my face very very matte. So if you have oily skin I probably would recommend this towards oily skin or those who get kind of shiny in their t-zone area. Um, I get shiny right around my forehead and my nose. So I guess that's the best way for me to explain <laughs> um, this powder. Next is the Rose Cushion Blusher and this blush costs $10, and this is the color. So it is like 
I'm not sure if the camera does any justice, but it is more like a deep, hot flamingo pink. However, when I swatch it and I apply it to my cheeks, it comes off very, very light and pearly. It's on my ring finger. So it comes off very, very light and powdery. Um, I would say the blush isn't anything special, to be honest with you. A blush is a blush, and I feel like I have a color very similar to this one. I'm not exactly, you know, a match. Um, this is the e.l.f. Pink Passion Blush, and then this one is the, um, the Face Shop one. I totally just blanked out, but this is what it looks like. This one's a bit more coral, and this one's just, like, pink. Overall, it's nothing special really. This blush is just like any other blush that I ever have, so I don't want to review it too intensely. However, it does come with a really cute puff that is really, really useless because the puff itself feels like a teddy bear, like a super soft teddy bear, and if you do use it, I have no idea how you're going to clean it because it's just so useless. So there's the blush. I know I'm, gonna talk, I'm not talking much about it just because it's just not important. Okay, so next and the last is this um, face wash. It's the Herb Day 365 Cleansing Foam in Peach. And you get relatively a good amount. This is only $6. I probably would have gotten a couple more because I actually really like this one. So this cleansing foam, I actually really needed a cleansing cream cleanser when I got home because the one that I took with me was like the last of it. And since this one was only $6 and it smelled surprisingly very, very good, um, I just gave it a shot. And I actually really do like this. Um, it is true to the cleansing foam name. It does foam up really, really nicely and you don't need a lot. I use way less than I thought I would um, when I was using this. Like I first used a lot and it was like super thick foam on my face. Um, and then I just started using like just a little dab, like less than a dime size, and it works just as well. And it does um, remove the rest of the makeup. Um, like I have a routine that I use. I'll talk in a different video about like my skincare, but this is like my, my step two. When you rinse this off, the, like your skin feels kind of rubbery. At the same time, it's very, very clean. Like you don't, it doesn't have any residue or anything on your face. It just feels super, super clean. It doesn't feel moisturizing or anything. It's just clean. Um, I probably would purchase this again because it is a really great step two for my skincare routine, which I'll talk about later. That was my review for all the products. I'm sorry if I like rambled about random things. <laughs> I'd rather and would prefer doing like a blog review just because the information's there, even though it's just a little bit long. So give me some feedback, and if you guys want me to review anything else, let me know, and I will see you soon. Bye.